So today's episode is another Spain on Fork travel series where the Spain on Fork kitchen takes a virtual visit to one of the many beautiful countries around the world and we create one of their dishes. Anyways, in today's episode, we're visiting the incredible country of Greece, truly one of the gems of the Mediterranean and making their most classic chickpea soup. We're talking revito supa. Now this is a dish that's packed with so many beautiful flavors. It's seriously so easy to make and it's gonna fill your body with so much goodness, folks. Serve the soup next to a crunchy baguette and a bottle of Spanish wine for the ultimate Mediterranean experience. Uh, really quick before we begin, and just want to let you know when you traditionally make this dish, you use dried chickpeas. I'm going to be using jarred ones, which is the same thing as the canned ones, just to make things so much easier and quicker. If you prefer to use dried chickpeas, just soak them overnight in plenty of water, and then the following day, simmer them on a low medium heat between one to two hours or until they're fully cooked through. All right, let's begin by grabbing a stock pot, heating it with a medium heat, and adding in a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, which is 60 milliliters. Now the vegetables I'm going to use to make this recipe are the ones that are most typically used in Greece when you're making the soup, but as always, you can use whatever vegetables you like or whatever you have on hand. After heating the olive oil for about two minutes, I'm going to add in one small onion that I finely diced, one carrot that's been peeled and finely chopped, one celery stick that's been thinly sliced, and four cloves of garlic that have been roughly minced. And we'll mix the vegetables around, that way they're all coated in that olive oil. And as you know, I always like to mix this continuously, that way the veggies don't brown too quickly and they all evenly saute. After about four minutes and the onion is nice and translucent and the rest of the vegetables lightly sauteed, I'm gonna add in two and a half cups of cooked chickpeas, which is 400 grams. Once again, the ones that I'm using come from a jar, which is the same thing as the canned ones, and I did add them into a sieve beforehand and rinse them under some cold running water. Then I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of dried oregano, which is one gram, and we'll season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give this a gentle mix. That way all the ingredients are evenly mixed. And once again, remember to be gentle here. Otherwise you can easily break those chickpeas apart. Once everything is well mixed, I'm gonna add in three cups of vegetable broth, which is 710 milliliters. As always, the broth that I'm using is homemade. You'll find the recipe on how to make it in the iCard above and description box below. However, you can also use water here with a vegetable bouillon cube. Then I'm going to add in one bay leaf and raise the heat to a high heat. And we'll give this a quick mix and bring that broth to a boil. Once the broth comes to a boil, I'm going to place a lid on the stock pot and lower the fire to a low medium heat. And we're going to simmer this for about 10 minutes. This is enough time for all the flavors to develop and for those chickpeas to have a beautiful melt in your mouth texture. After about 10 minutes, I'm gonna remove the lid from the stock pot. And as you can see, look how beautiful this turned out and there's plenty of broth in there. If you see that yours needs a little bit more, just add it in at this point. I'm gonna remove the bay leaf from the soup and turn off the heat. For the final step, I'm gonna grab half of a lemon and squeeze the juice of the half lemon into the soup. I like to have a sieve underneath when I'm doing this that we can catch any of the seeds. Then we'll give this one final mix. Remove the stock pot from the heat. And we'll transfer some of the soup into a shallow bowl and sprinkle it with some finely chopped fresh parsley. Check it out, our Greek chickpea soup is done. Once again, this is known in Greece as revito soupa. So easy to make, made with the simplest ingredients and comes together in just 30 minutes. But the beauty of this soup is that fresh lemon juice that we added in at the end as it gives it the most incredible balance of flavors. Let's give this a try and see how it tastes. Now this is what the Mediterranean kitchen is all about. This looks absolutely beautiful. Here we go. It is so good. 
You know, for those of you that follow Spain on Fork, you know I'm a huge fan of chickpeas, and this dish right here truly hits on all cylinders. So many great flavors, and like I told you at the beginning, it's gonna fill your body with so much goodness. Give this a Greek soup a try home, and I promise it will not disappoint. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Ibet Rivera, Nancy T, David Anthony, Michael Fenter, Catherine Clark, and Jean. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon and you'd like to support Spain on a Fork, you'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and I card above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. That way our Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego. Great episode even better dish. Uh, I don't know if you guys can notice in my end. Yeah, my voice sounds a little bit off just because I have a little bit of a scratchy throat, not a sore throat, it's a scratchy one. So it sounds a little weird. I apologize for that. Seriously. This is so good. Viva Grecia. Hasta luego.